Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here, back with a new movie. The name of this movie is What if Naruto went back in time and stopped the cycle of hatred. And yeah guys, it's an unscripted movie as well. Now before continuing this, I would like to give shout out to JC Cortez for this idea. And other than that, I hope you like this video and if you do then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and without further ado, let's begin with our story. Our story begins at the end of the great fourth shinobi war. The war was lost. Even though Naruto had won but he still lost the war. He was the only one alive at the time in the whole planet aside from the Bijus. The rest of the populace died. They were drained by the infinite Tsukiyomi, their life force gone. Madra and Kaguya, in their last ditch of effort, tried to drain all the chakra and power from the living beings and pull that into an attack. Now Naruto having a part of each Biju inside of him was able to enter the ultimate barbarian mode in which he was in his own right an Otsuzuki and not any Otsuzuki, an Otsuzuki king level Otsuzuki. He took down Kaguya and Madara easily and destroyed them, erasing them from the existence as now he was standing there. But something was different, he was still inside his ultimate barrier mode. As he was looking at everywhere, it was waste. Everyone was dead, there was nothing there for him, nothing left. All was barren. As he then slumped near a tree that was nearby when he came near to his village just to see that it was barren and no one, not even a single squeak was heard there. As he sighed, a tear started to come through his eyes. <sighs> Why? Why do we have to go through so much pain because of such a madman? Why? What caused Madara to grow so hatred towards humanity? It was Zetsu. He filled his mind with brutality and the failed concept of beasts. That is what led to this. Then what about Kaguya? She was evil to begin with. She and the Otsuzukis all are, said the combined voices of nine Biju who were now together as one in Krama's avatar, a golden fox glowing golden fox inside Naruto who was in ultimate barrier mode still and why am I not getting out of this mode that you told me about Krama well kid I did not know about that and from the looks of it you are stuck and so am I what <sighs> just great I have just lost everything one week ago and now this is the news I want to hear about as Naruto was mourning for the loss of everyone, he sensed some chakra. Feeling a little bit of hope gripping his heart, he dashed towards there just to see it was none other than a spirit. Spirit of the Sage of the Sixth Path, Hagoromo Otsuki, at the Valley of the End, which was destroyed but he was levitating there due to his Magatamas. As Naruto arrived there, Sage. Is that you? Yes, Naruto. Say so said, as he looked sadly at Naruto. Our plan failed. Nothing worked. I know. You failed. Even though you defeated her, you weren't able to save anyone. <laughs> what use am I if I can't use all this power for nothing? I failed everyone. I failed myself and the beliefs I used to follow. No, Naruto, you tried. It was just that the madness of my mother and Madara Uchiha that caused all of this havoc and destruction. What can we do now? There's nothing left. Can't you just make this thing go away so I can die in peace? Kid, you can't die. I, I don't want to live anymore, Chroma. There's nothing left here. You still have me. I know, but... I... I just don't want to live anymore. Kid, don't lose hope yet. We might find a way. R really 
Yes, Naruto. There might be a way, but it is dangerous. What can I do? You will have to go back in time. A lot back. Even before the beginning of all this mess. You might be able to change the shinobi history altogether before the shinobi system was made, if you make it. Snarto's eyes widened. Hope gripped his heart yet again as his eyes shone with glow that was there before the war began. As Snarto then said, can, can that be possible? Yes, but unfortunately in that dimension or timeline, you will not be born. Wait, what do you mean? You see, Naruto, this timeline, this dimension is ruined, it's barren, it's destroyed. And once you leave, there will be nothing left of it. And once you begin the change of turns of events, it will deteriorate and destroy from within. As Naruto then looked, thought for a moment, there was nothing left here, everything was dead. And if he goes there, goes back in time, he can save many lives. Oh, okay, I'll do it. Good choice, kid. I know we can do this. Wait, Sage, why can't I get out of this mode? Well, Naruto, unfortunately you are stuck in it. And might be able to deactivate it on will once you learn it and practice about it. Oh, and you might de-age a bit. What? Yes. But I'm a teenager. How much do you want me to de-age? Well, I do not know. I have never tested this out. It was only a concept till Jutsu that I created, but never tested out. Not even once. Because I don't want to change the timeline at the time because it was going peaceful. But now, desperate measures are needed to change the turns of events. Prepare yourself, Naruto. And here, the sage tapped on Naruto's forehead as Naruto closed his eyes to open them to see Golden Rinnegan. What did you do? I gave you the moon seal and my Rinnegan. You can now use it and my full potential alongside yours and Kurama's and my son Kurama who have combined with all nine of you. Please watch after him my son and do not try to interfere with your other selves. It might get you in trouble. Hi father said Kurama and Naruto nodded as well. As the sage began hand sequence as a portal opened. Now, once you step in there, this reality will be destroyed. I I know. This future is gone, Naruto. Don't look back. Move forward. <laughs> in your case, you're going backwards, but for a better future ahead. I will not forget it. your sacrifice, sage. No, Naruto. You have to forget us. All of us. Start anew life. I hope you have a better one this time. As Naruto stepped inside of it, as a white light glowed everywhere behind Sage, as the portal closed, the Sage closed his eyes with a smile. I hope everything goes well this time. As everything started to disappear, and soon he too was consumed alongside everyone and everything within the vicinity until there was nothing left. We go towards Naruto, who opened his eyes to see that he was in a forest. Uh, where am I? Kid, wake up. We're in a forest of some sort. As Naruto woke up, Kurama. Wait, why am I a little kid? Naruto said, looking towards his hand to see chubby hands. Hmm, from the looks of it, you have de aged, as father said. Go near a water stream. I can sense it in north side. Go there and see how shorter have you grown. Well, I guess I got nothing better to do now. As Naruto went there, as he saw himself, he was at the age of six. Six years, huh? Hmm. So what do I do now? First you find some civilization, you idiot. Wait, Kurama. The mode, it's off. Yeah, you're right. It is off. But can I enter into it? Don't try it out now, Naruto. You have to train first, remember? As Naruto jumped into the air to see how much chakra he had lost, to see that he hadn't lost even a bit of it. I don't think I lost any bit of my chakra. As Naruto made a Rasengan in his hand as well to check. See? 
I can still make my jutsus and everything. Hmm. Then you must try the sage mode to enter it and find any people nearby. As Naruto started to meditate after sitting down, as two pigments grow, but this time they were all black. As his eyes opened to reveal they were blue but toad like. Wait, I feel different. I am in sage mode and one with nature, but it's not the same one. It's because you have lost the toad contract but you still have the sage mode. That is why you're different. As Naruto then started to sense out where he could find people, as he sensed a lot of people nearby. As he followed the shore in ninja speed, it took him one hour to arrive there. As he saw his eyes widen, it had a huge Uzumaki swirl at the beginning of the main entrance. As Naruto stood there, halt, said two red head guards. State your name and business. Uh, I'm Naruto. Uh, kid, don't reveal your identity. Just say you're a traveler. I'm Naruto, and I'm just a traveler. I was robbed by bandits, and my parents got killed. I, I was looking for civilization to get help. Come inside, kid. As the two guards led him inside towards the main house in which Arashi Uzumaki was residing, the leader of the Uzumaki clan and his little daughter Mita was also there. As before the guards could open the seal, Naruto went inside, which caused their eyes to be in, and so did Arashi who was sitting inside. Young man, who are you? Ah, I'm Naruto and I am traveling with my family or was until they were killed by a group of people. I escaped, as my mo mother said for me to run and find some people for help, and don't look back, Naruto said. No kid, who are you really? Only an Uzumaki can enter this room, because of the seal I placed, and you entered it without me disabling it. Shit, yeah nice try dipshit, I told you to be careful. Well, I didn't knew it might work that way. Well it kinda did, now what are we supposed to do? As Rashi then said. Please, I'm not going to ask you politely again. As I told you, sir, I I don't know. My mother had red hair with violet eyes, but that is all I know about. I see. And I got my blonde hair and blue eyes from my father. Okay, kid. So tell me this. Was her name Kush K Uzumaki? N no. Her name was Kushimi Namikaze. Good one, kid. Don't reveal that you're Uzumaki. Act like you don't know yourself. Hmm. I need a test sample. A bit of your blood, if you, if so, please. And then we will determine if you are able to stay here or not. Okay. As the blood was taken from Naruto. As Naruto stood there in front of Rashi, as after half an hour, the doctor came. Rashi-sama, the test came as positive. The kid is... 70% Uzumaki. Ah, I see. Well, kiddo, you're lucky because you found those issue of You can stay here now, if you want, because you are a part of our family and clan. R really? Yes, kid. Now follow Tomoichi over there. He will lead you towards the orphanage. Hi, Arashi-sama. As Tomoichi led Naruto towards the orphanage where he will be staying and he was surprised to find that he and two other people were only there who were elders ah what do we have here who is this boy Tomoichi he is a Nozumaki who lost both of his parents by bandits while they were traveling and he ran away from them as his mother said luckily he was nearby and found us and Arashi-sama told me to bring him here. Ah, I'll take care of him. Thanks, Tomoyo. As after that, Tomoichi left. As the now old lady named Tomoyo said, Anata, come here and meet our new guest. What is your name, little one? Um, uh, Naruto, ma'am. My name is Tomoyo, and this over here is my husband. His name is Kichi. Huh? What? <sighs> Stop being a drunkard for once. Don't worry, kiddo, we'll take care of you. As Naruto's life began with Kichi and Tomoyo from then on. 
as one month has passed since then and Naruto was helping the old couple out and was now interacting with a lot of Uzumakis who pitied him and were quite kind to him. Naruto was happy that his clan was such lively and gentle clan and yet they were eradicated in cold blood by Kumu, Iba and Kiri as Naruto growled in anger. Whenever he thought about that event, I have to stop that. We will, kid. But that happens once the village, villages were formed. We have to find a way to go and meet Hashirama and Matara this time around before they interact with Zetsu. I know, but we cannot leave until we're an adult and in their eyes we're an adult once we became at, at the age of 13. And we can go outside to look for work if we want to. We have to wait for six years, that means, yes. And meanwhile, we can enlist in the academy and learn basics about here. You might be able to pick up Kenjutsu that you never was able to. Hmm, you're right. As Naruto went for Kenjutsu classes after asking Tomoyo, who happily enrolled him in. Once Tomoyo asked why, though, he told her that he wanted to leave and travel and even find a job out there to look out for the world. It was his childhood dream and he needs to protect himself against bandits uh, because he didn't want the same thing to happen to him that happened to his parents. As Tomoyo was saddened by this but happy at the same time, saddened that he had to leave her and this village because she has grown attached to him over the course of month and so has Kichi because he was quite a helpful and a nice kid overall. But she was happy for him that he had a dream and he had still hope in his eyes even after the tragedy that struck one month ago. As we see now, Naruto training alongside many, many children in the arts of Kenjutsu with a wooden sword as their teacher was none other than Rashi's brother, Mitarashi, who was there with a sword. Now Mitarashi was a sword saint in their eyes because he could wield any type of sword whether it was a long sword, a katana, a chikoto and many more variants of it. Heck he even was the one who created the seven first swords of the exact copy I mean the seven swords that were copied by the mist later on turning them into the seven swords of the mist. As Naruto and everyone was following Katas, a girl came there, as the said man said, Hello niece, what are you doing here? Ah, uncle, I'm here to learn as well. But Mito, have you asked your father? Yes, I asked though, John, and he allowed it. Hmm, really now? Yes, he did. Well, lucky for you, you can study with this class. Oi, Naruto, come over here. Uh, y yes sir? You are to be her sparring partner because you are new and since she is new you will be good for each other to spar with. Uh, hi sir. Now begin with the katas that I have told you and Mito follow his lead as Naruto and Mito begin to practice katas. As Mito after practicing one hour and still going spoke with going through their katas. Hey what's your name? Uh, Naruto. The sensei just called me out remember? Oh yeah I wasn't listening back then said Mito. What's yours? I'm uh, Mito. Mito Uzumaki. Wait, Naruto. That is Mito Uzumaki, who's going to be Tsunade's grandmother. What? She's. You mean Bachan's Bachan? Well, yeah, in a sense. But she's little. Well, no shit, dipshit. We're in the past, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kinda forgot about that. As Naruto and Krama were talking, Naruto dodged a swing from. Mito, who was enraged, why are you ignoring me? I answered your question, why aren't you ask answering mine? Uh, what, what? Sorry, I wasn't listening. I said, how old are you? Uh, six? Hmm, you're my age. Good. She started swinging her sword more roughly again. How about you and me become friends? Wow, she's forceful. Well, no shit. I told you that she didn't listen to anyone, and I had the most toughest time with her. And after that comes your mother. And you? Yeah, I like you the most. Well, yeah, I guess I'm quite likable. Hm, <laughs> you really are, you wish. Oi, I resent that. Yeah, I resent a lot you as well. 
as Naruto was bonked on the head with a sword. Itai, that hurts. Ha, serves you right. Well, because of you, I was ignoring the match. As Mito then said, you haven't answered. Oh, y sorry. Uh, yes, I would love to. It will be an honor. Ah, here you go again. Stop this and treat me like a normal kid your age. Uh, fine, Mito. As Naruto and Mito started to grow close over the course of six years and studied Fuinjutsu and Kenjutsu closely as well. Now, why was Naruto learning Fuinjutsu when he knew about it? Well, because Mito brought him to it because she wanted to study as well and she forced Naruto into it. And as time passed, they grew so closer as Arashi began to notice this and was happy. And when the time came, they had to go and meet their distant relatives, the Senjus. As when Mito was leaving, she said, Neto chan, can we bring Naruto as well? Hmm, he wants to see outside world, so it might be good. Well, I'll ask him. As Naruto was brought into his office before the travel, as Naruto arrived there, Yes, sir, you call for me? Yes, Naruto. Mito wants to go and meet her cousin, Senjus. Do you want to come as well? Uh, I would love to, but I would, I would like to ask why me? Well, Mita wants you to go with her because she w wants the company and don't want to be feel bored. Arashi said laughing, and I would love to have you there, son. It'll be my honor, sir. Yeah, mine too. As after that, the travel began towards Senju's. As after one day of travel at a civilian pace, they arrived there. As it was a huge compound in which Senju resided, as Arashi met with Batsuma, who was there, as his two older sons, which his name were Hashirama Senju and Tobirama Senju, were outside with Mito, Uzumaki, and Naruto. As Tobirama and Hashirama asked Mito, because they had met her before, Hey Mito, who is this? Ah, you haven't met him. I arrived here when I was five, remember? Yes. He came one year after once I returned. His name is Naruto. He's an orphan Uzumaki who, whose mother and father died against bandits. Oh, I'm sorry to bring bad memories. No, it's alright. Naruto said. As Naruto and Hashirama headed off almost instantly and Mito got somewhat jealous as she was boating heavily as Tobirama said. Yep, they hit it off. Why are you making a face like that, Mito? If you want to play, go and play with them. Shut up, Tobirama. What? What did I say wrong? As then, he went to plan against Uchiha's, as always. As Naruto and the other two were playing, Hashirama then said, Nay, want to meet my other friend? What friend, Hashirama? You see, his name is Madara, and he's a boy who meets me near by a river, our house. Wanna go? Hmm, would love to. As Naruto, Mito, and Hashirama went there to see that Madara was waiting. See, I told you. I told him that he will come today because we almost meet every day at this time around. Oi, Dobe, you took a lot of time. Who are they? Madara asked. Oh, this is Naruto and this is Mito, my cousin, and this is Naruto, our friend. Who came with her? Hmm. What are they doing? What are they doing here? Well, I brought them here to meet you. Why? Mother said angrily, because I thought you would like to be friends with us. All of us, I mean. Hashama said, first of all, we're not friends, we're rivals, okay? And as for being friends with them, I guess I agree. It'll be fun to have some guinea pigs for my experiments. Oh boy. No wonder he's the saddest in the future. Yeah, even though he's innocent, he's the saddest, says Kurama agreeing with Naruto. Well, let's just hope this play date goes well. As time passed and Madara's play date with all of them went well, as after a while, Shirama and Mito got tired and were sitting as Naruto and Madara were practicing taijutsu, sparring with each other. Oh, you're good. You dance quite well. Same could be said about you, Madara. Naruto said as he twisted his ankle and swished a kick on Madara's face, sending him flying back. Damn, that hurts, Madara said. 
But before he could do anything, and Uchiha launched an arrow at him, which Naruto caught swiftly. As Hashirama and Mito got up, as Madara was alert as well, as an older woman came out. A girl who was two years older than them. She was wearing an Uchiha armor. As she said, Madara, come inside. Nechan. As. Wait. Nechan? Naruto said. As Naruto looked at the woman. Wait. Madara had a sister? Not that I remember of. In the history, it isn't even mentioned. Yeah, same here. Um, what is your name, lady, and why are you attacking me? My name is Ayori Uchiha, and I am the princess of the Uchiha clan. What were you doing with my brother? Were you aiming to kill him? No, we were just sparring as friends. <laughs> and Uchiha doesn't need friends. Wow, it reminds me of some... Yeah, emo bastard. Thankfully, he's dead, said Naruto. I should have, I should have come here and extinguished this whole clan as a whole. In this time, God knows where I was. As Grama sneezed in that timeline, who was resting in the mountain's peak in a cave. Hmm, someone must be talking about me. Who cares? I'll just rest here. As Grama closed his eyes again. As we go back to Naruto, who was standing against Ayori Uchiha. As she smirked, really now, let's see what you can do. As Ayori dropped her sword and her bow and dropped her armor. She was wearing a black yukata as she stepped in the river in which they were fighting. Hmm, you have quite chakra control if you can stand on river. E yes. As Naruto and she were looking at each other in the stance, let's see how you dance, shall we? As both of them begin a Daijutsu battle, as Ayori was the first one to disappear and appear in front of her. She's fast. Naruto, be on guard, said Chroma. On it. As Naruto was blocking her kicks and punches left and right. Why don't you fight back? Because I don't want to. Hmm. <laughs> are you scared? Or are you looking down at me? No. I know some pretty strong women. And I'll be lying if I said that. I'll be underestimating you. Uh, because I'm not. Hmm, good to know. As she then kicked Naruto in the air, but Naruto disappeared in a puff of smoke. What? A clone? As before, behind her, Naruto appeared with a ball of energy in his hand as he slammed it into her side, throwing her into the water as Madara's jaws dropped and so did Hashirama and even Mito's. Na Naruto, what was that? I, I don't know, Naruto said. Yeah, nice try, kid. Nice cover-up. You do not know how to cover up shit, do you? Boy, it's my first time trying and I kind of let it go in a heat of a battle. Yeah, you did. Um, sorry, uh, are you okay? Said Naruto to Aori, who stood up and hugged him. As Naruto was soon on her chest as Mito, eyes widened and jaws dropped even more. As Madara was foaming from his mouth, literally, at the time. As she hugged him tight, I found you. Uh, sorry? What? I found you, my soulmate. Wait, what's going on? What do you mean? We just part. Hmm. You were the first man to be able to defeat me. Not even my father was able to. Not everyone in my clan is strong as you are. And you were the first one to do what many men had tried to do. And for that, I submit my life, my will, and my everything, even my love, to you. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> wow, what a turn of events. You really did change the future, Naruto. But, but, why? How come this be? I, I just sparred with her, which she forced upon me, and now we're engaged? As she then put a pendant of Uchiha clan in Naruto's neck. Wait, what are you doing? This indicates that you are my fiance, and I will rip to shreds if any one of my clan's women touched you. Now you'll be a good pet and come with me and be my bride. Wait, isn't it the other way around? I don't care. Madara, we're leaving. As Madara was now literally passed out, as she flunked him on her shoulder after wearing her armor and tying the katana to her hip. Oi, she's kidnapping Naruto. Um, ma'am, please can you drop him? Send you. Trash. Leave. He's mine. 
as then Tobirama and Batsuma and Arashi arrived, and so did the Uchiha clan head and Iris father. What are you doing here, Senju? And you too, Zumaki. Your daughter has kidnapped my clansman. Drop him and leave. He's my fiance, and I'm not leaving him. But but I didn't even shush you. Uh, hi. Wow. The strongest man, and yet you can't even go against her will. Aren't you a submissive, submissive person, Naruto? Oi, I don't want to just get caught in the crossfire. And you know what happens when a woman are angry. I have a bad history with them. As Naruto had a vivid flashback of his previous life in which Tsunade, Shizune, heck, Sakura, and all of the women he first interacted with had beaten him to some point. Heck, even Hinata, who was supposed to be his fiance, was also doing the same thing once or twice every two or three years. As Kibi then said, shaking his head, Ah, oh, poor you. As Naruto then replaced himself with a clone as he dashed back towards the water as he was standing in the center of it. Please stop both of you. We just sparred, that's all, and we were just playing as friends. Friends with the Uchihas? said Batsuma. We can never be friends. They are our rivals, our enemies. Why? For what reason? As Naruto said these words, both the clan heads couldn't answer it. Because of our ancestor, ancestors' rivalry and their deed against our clans. What deeds? Said Naruto again. Can you answer me this much question? Why are you hitting each another for so long without even knowing the reason? I mean, it's kind of stupid, if you ask me. Yeah, father, he's quite right, said Hashirama, as Tobirama was even also thinking. It is quite logical. For what reason are we hating on them? To be honest, at the time their third brother wasn't born, so yeah. We, uh, it might be in the clan's clothes. I will ask you the same, Uchiha-sama. For what reason do you hate the Senjus and Uzumakis? And don't give me the same answer as them because I already know they do not have an answer for that. And I doubt you have as well. There was silence. I thought so. As Iori was looking at Naruto. Don't you dare take off that bandit. I'll rip you to shreds. Even though you have beaten me. But you will not have a second chance. I will not give you that much leverage. She said activating her Sharingan which morphed into a Mangekyo. A Mangekyo? No, Naruto. It's an eternal Mangekyo. Snarto's eyes widen. What? Shit. She's of royal blood. She's a direct descendant of him. You mean Indra's? Yes. That is why she have the eternal, not the simple Mangekyo. Shit. This makes more things complicated. What can we do now? Nothing. You're fucked. <laughs> Literally. Shut up, Kurama, it's not time to joke. What? She loves you. What else do you need? A strong mate. That's all you desire. But what about Mito's confession that she made when we were coming here? Well, who says you can sat with one mate? You can take two. Wait, are you suggesting that I should marry both of them? Why not, kid? You always wanted love and started a, wanted to start a family and have a big family. And what more than two strong, strong women starting your own family and help you with it. But what about Tsunade Bachan? And even Sasuke and Itachi, they will, they will not be born. <sighs> Kid, they will be born. But this time around, they will be your generation. Not Hashirama's or this Uchiha's, Madras. I get it. I, I will think about it. As Aori then moved forward towards Naruto and kissed him. Until we meet again, Naruto. And your question did arise quite sparks. And you, to be honest, I have been thinking about the same thing. We will come here within a month with an answer. Do you think that is agreeable, Senju? And you too, father. As all of them nodded. Good. As I already left. As Tobirama then looked at Naruto. You could have told me. Well, you're the one who left and we didn't knew that where Hashirama might take us. Yeah. Hashirama? Y yes. Said Hashirama, looking at his father's stern gaze. Because Naruto just spilled the beans. As he was trying to get away, 
He was looking back at them like a deer caught in the car's headlights. Is it true that you brought them here? Y yes. How long have you been meeting that Uchiha kid? A uh, year or so? An year? Have you any idea what would have happened if any other Uchiha was found? Luckily enough, this kid was able to beat her and outsmart her and we were able to follow you. You will not meet him again. But father, he's my friend. Enough. I have told you, you are supposed to be my heir. So you should act like one. Hi, father, said Hashirama as he left dejected as Naruto put a hand on his shoulder. It's alright. You know, you can always come back in secret and replace yourself with a clone. I can teach you that. You mean the thing you did when you were fighting her? Yeah. As for a whole month, they decided to look through the previous scrolls for what was the reason. And what they found was quite embarrassing. It all began after the two clans were formidable and formed and were quite calibrate and had strong hold over the world with dominance. But the fight was over a bun, a bean bun that was taken by a Senju before an Uchiha. As the Uchiha wanted that bun but the Senju didn't give him any and hence the war began. The Uchiha killed the Senju and the Senju killed the Uchiha and one after another the war began as both were looking down with embarrassment. What? You mean to say that generations of wars after a bean bun? Yes. The fuck man? Way to go. A bean bun destroying a whole generations of Uchihas and Senjus. It's almost laughable. But how come Uzumakis were involved? Because they're our cousins? Yes, Naruto, and we will help them. Ah, <sighs> you could have just bought both of them a bean bun. Even I can do that, buy you guys a bean bun and, and your pathetic war. Why are you shedding so much blood? As both of them looked down. Well, what are you standing there for? Form an alliance or something? And be united against the whole world as a union. Like a village? Yeah, like a village. Wait, Naruto. You're moving way too fast. What? It'll be good. I mean, they're just fighting each other and causing havoc and destruction amongst each other over a bean bun. For reals, if this is what happened in my timeline, oh boy, I swear I'm gonna go cuckoo if that timeline existed even more. No, Naruto. It is already changed by that Aori Uchiha being here. I doubt it that it will be the same. Well, I guess so. But wait, what happened to Indra and Asra? They were the ones who started the war, didn't they? Well, in our timeline, they did. But in this timeline, they seem to have an understanding. Because I can't sense their chakra. But it is without malice. Like they are unified and united. Hmm, if you say so. As after that, both of the clan heads to Naruto's dismay were thinking deep. Hmm, this kid over here will be the bridge between both of our clans as union. Naruto, you will marry Mito Uzumaki as a representative of Uzumaki and Senju clan and I will marry as a representative of Uchiha clan and together we will form a village under our names and union, said Ayori Uchiha. Grabbing Naruto's hand as Mito dashed and grabbed the other one. As Naruto's eyes widened as he blushed deeply. Oh, isn't he cute? Well, I was going to take him for myself, but it is decided already that I have to share, unfortunately. A little girl, and I'm spending my time alone, you will not interfere, because if you do, there will be dire consequences. Yeah, same here, you bitch. Hmm. <laughs> Deal. As after that, in front of Naruto's eyes, who was in dismay still, a whole village was constructed within the course of two more years as Naruto was now 15 and was standing in Konohagakure in Osato, which he unconsciously named the village hidden in the leaves which the both clanners liked. Naruto, you really did change the timeline. The first shinobi village is formed. The base has been set. Now you have to take it. Up a level by spreading your 
ways through the whole elemental nation and affecting the whole shinobi system as a whole. The first thing I'm gonna do is not capture any biju, so there will be no concept of making chinchurikis. No one should suffer that life, and no one of the biju should be suffering. For that I have to go first, and travel, and meet each and every one of you in this timeline. Are you sure that is safe? I do not know that, but it is what it is. As before Naruto left, he knew something that Zetsu might approach now, Madara, early as well. Call it his hunch. So he had to take countermeasures for that. As Naruto called all of them inside the office that was given to him, because he was named as their leader who will lead him, because it was his idea and his ways that stopped the war that was going on for god knows how many decades over a fucking bean bun. As Naruto's friends were there, Madara, Hashirama, Tobirama, even Mito and Ayori. What is it that you wanted to talk about, Anata? You should be working vigilantly to guide the village. Uh, yes, honey. As Ayori smiled. Hmm, that has a nice name and ring to it. Naruto, what about me? My red fireball of fury. Naruto said with a smile. As Mito bought it. Ah, just kidding, my firecracker. As Mito blushed. As Naruto then said, we're getting the track. Uh, I had a weird dream in which I saw you, Madara, and Hashirama fighting against each other. What? But we always fight. What's so different about this? No, like killing each other. What? We will not do that, Naruto. I know, but something happened, and I see you turning white and having the power beyond imagination. Isn't that a good thing? No, Madara. You're destroying everything. Each and every life. And then you are killed and betrayed by this plant-like creature whose name is Zetsu. I remember this dream so vividly as if it was reality. If that creature is real and ever approaches any one of you, half white, half black, name Zetsu, then beware of him. Capture him if you will and try not to be swayed by his words. That is what I fear might happen if you are swayed by his words. We'll be careful, Naruto. If this has gotten you so shake up, we'll all look out for it. Thank you. Where are you going, though? I need some time alone. I have to go and search for a summon. A summon? That is unheard of. There are some animals who can use chakra and even can talk, but we have never been inter interacted with one. That is why I want to test out if we can summon them and make an alliance with them. It will be beneficial for our vi village, won't it? Yes, it will, I guess. Good. And Madara, I'm leaving you in charge, alongside with Tobirama. What? Why me? <sighs> you still haven't let go of your hatred towards Uchiha's, even though it was over a bean bun. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to let it go after well, two years or so. Toby, it's been two years. How long do you need? I don't know. My life, I guess. Wow, he's a racist, said Naori Uchiha as Mito nodded. Oi, Mito, stop agreeing with her. It is true, said Hashirama as he nodded as well as Madara was now there as all five of them nodded. I'm not racist. Well, you are. Why are you so against Uchiha's now that we have formed an alliance, brother? Said Hashirama as Naruto, after saying goodbye, left the group to his own devices, bickering with each other. As Naruto, after leaving the village that was newly established, went towards a clearing with high shinobi level speeds and meditated, entering into the new sage mode that he had developed. As he then searched for a Biju's chakra nearby, and he was successful in finding Shukaku and Matatabe and Isibu nearby all together. As he went there, he found that Son Goku was also there as they were talking amongst each other. As Shikaku said, Have you sensed that chakra that we felt all those years ago? Yes. That is why I've been trying to get in contact with all of us, but it seems that the other don't have any interest in it. They will come, said Isabu in a calm voice. As Naruto arrived in the center of them. Hello, everyone. Who are you, human? As Naruto entered into the ultimate barrier mode, 
and put Kurama's avatar into life. K Kurama? No, I am not sure Kurama. From a different timeline, yes, in which we all combined with me. I am the ultimate superior Kurama, and this is the ultimate Baryan mode that me and my Dinchuriki can use. T Dinchuriki? What do you mean? From the future I came from, we are used as chakra batteries and power sealed inside vessels against their wills when they are infants and they are scorned in hatred because they have us. That is cruel, said Isabu. Yes, and then we can free you from this human. No, he and I teamed up to get in this dimension to change the future. The prophecy that father gave us about the destruction, it fulfilled. Kaguya came back as Sabidu's proves Tetsu is alive out there, her will. And he is going to change the course of events through the whole elemental nations to the years to come. And we have to stop it at all cost. He cannot be allowed to fulfill his plans. Even though we won the war, everyone was dead because Kaguya used an overpowered jutsu to drain everyone from their life. And everyone died. In the last ditch, we combined ourselves and I was born. Spirit Kurama who was inside Naruto, giving him the ultimate Baryan mode and where we were able to take him and her down. But we were mourning for the loss of everyone. And then we found Father's Chakra and we went there. And that is how we are here. It is kind of hard to believe, but I know you are Kurama. And if you are saying this, you are saying the truth. Because I can also sense our Kurama approaching fast. As sooner than later, the QB arrived there with anger. Who are you? And why do you have my power? My chakra is hiding again inside of you, human. Kurama, in due time it will be explained. As the Sage of the Six Spots arrived in and there, as it was the same place in which all the nine Vijis were gathered in a circle, and inside it, Naruto and the Sage stood. Young man, who are you? I know you are not from this world. I see, so jutsu did work. What jutsu? Use the jutsu that you told me that will send me back in time and erase my reality. Oh, I see. What happened? As Naruto began to tell the tale of what happened, as after the tale was finished, the Bijus listened intently. As the sage then sighed, I see. My mother broke free and her will Zetsu is out there. And this Madara person, yes, he will be the one to bring the chaos. Then we might have to find him and kill him, said Kurama. No, he's an innocent kid. And my friend, are you out of your mind? He destroyed your world, said Kurama. He took everything away from you and this is how you think about him. Well, yes, because this one is innocent, at least yet. And I have a way to prevent what is going to happen. He told me to change the course of history, changing the future altogether. And that is why I am here to stop the cycle of hatred before it even began. How? Oh, by ending Kaguya and Zetsu altogether. But about the other Otsuzukis, they will find out if she dies. I will kill them as well. Don't expect any power from us. My other half, the counterpart, might have trusted you, but I won't. I do not need it, Krama. You are my friend. This one and you all are. Because you all put your trust in me at the time, and I wasn't able to live up to your expectations. Even though I de defeated them, I wasn't able to save any one of your friends, your Jinchurikis. But this time around, I promise you that your peace will not be disturbed. You are free beings, sentient beings who can live freely as they will. While well, I have two things to take care of. So why have you came in contact with us to give you these seals so you can never be sealed inside anyone? These are the seals that I created with the help of my Kurama. Okay, you have my permission to place it, said Kurama, as a seal was placed on each and every one of the Bijus with Naruto and his shadow clones. As Naruto made a blood clone and made him do the sealing jutsu, but he destroyed himself. See, the seal works. As then the sage asked, but Naruto... Do you, don't you think that the future is moving forward quite fastly? Because the turns of events that you said 
are happening. Zetsu has already met with Madara, and I think he has agreed. What? No. Shit, I have to go. But things will be different this time for all of you. At least, if you stay safe, the future is safe. Somewhat at least. I have to take care of Madara. All that is left of, as Naruto disappeared in blinding yellow flash. As Sage then stood there, you all be careful and never trust humans. Aside from that one, <laughs> you were the one who told us to trust father. Why the sudden change? Because of the future that I heard. It is not the one I wanted. And I know why my other half sent him here. To give us a warning. Or show us what will be the result of our futile ambitions that we put upon the next generation if we don't change them now. Hmm. As all of them went back and separated their ways, as the, this sage of six spot hoped that Naruto will be able to achieve peace, as Naruto activated his golden Rinnegan inside his barian mode and dashed at blitzing speed, as he saw that Zetsu was manipulating Madara's body after getting on to him. But Naruto ripped him to shreds as Madara was just unconscious now. As he was squishing Zetsu's face so hard that it will almost explode. You! Why are you here? Because of you, my plan is ruined. That is why I'm here. As Naruto then burned him, Sun Seal, burning in the bright brightness, erasing the darkness jutsu. As Zetsu screamed, burned to death as uh, suddenly Kaguya had enough and broke through the moon what Kurama that didn't even happen as all the bijus look at the sky to see Kaguya their eyes widen as the, all over the world the chakra was heavy as Iori Mito were there alongside all of the shinobis arrived there as Naruto was standing there Naruto what is going on look out for Madara he was being corrupted Kaguya is here who is she the rabbit goddess, the mother of all chakra, the mother of sage of six spots, as she floated down near Naruto, you. As she looked at Naruto with her cold pale eyes, I know you, you're not from this timeline, I have seen you what you did to my counterpart, you will not do the same to me. As the battle of fears commenced, as portal appeared behind Naruto, dashed him and swished him there, but Naruto took Kaguya and tore her in half due to the portals. As she screamed in agony, her other half in another dimension, while the upper half in his hands, as he grabbed her by neck, as he started to glow even more and flew into the air at hyper speed. As now we see Naruto in space, as he looked towards Kaguya, where is your clan? He said with Rinnegan eyes looking at her pale, I will never tell you. Good. Because I wanted you to torture you. As he did the Nagato's outer pod technique, extracting her soul and gaining the memories. Snorto then said, I have to get rid of them, Kurama. I know, Naruto. This much genocide is allowed and is necessary. As Naruto traveled towards the Otsutsuki planet, I will try to save those who are deemable. But what he saw disgusted him. Infants baby being absorbed by their parents, who were born with less power. Those with inferior power were eaten by their own parents as chakra fruits, while the powerful had to grow up. They disgust me. Eradicate them, Naruto. As Naruto did that, massacred with superior Kurama. A huge massacre of Otsusukis, left and right, dead bodies laid. Many karma seals were given to him, that his whole arm was filled with them. But due to superior Kurama being there, who were as strong as them, overpowered their consciousness that were residing inside Naruto, eradicating them all over. As now, Naruto had the power of karmas within him, and many of them. He could absorb any sort of damage and jutsu, and release it tenfold now. As he came to the throne in which none other than the King Otsutsuki resided, he had already killed Ishiki, Momoshiki, and Kishiki, the generals of his. As he walked inside, covered with blood all over his body. Oh, a human. It is quite surprising that you were able to eradicate my clan within a day. But this is where you will fall. He said, opening his eyes to reveal Shogun. No, this is where you will fall. 
Snarder disappeared and appeared behind him, but his attacks were blocked. Nardo, his strongest. That is why he's the king. As Nardo activated all the karmas and empowered everything. Chibaku Tensei. Nardo tried, but he evaded that. And then he activated his Chogon and disappeared in blinding speed and appeared behind him with two white blades that he had formed. Nardo got many cuts on his arms as he hissed in pain, but his cuts healed as soon as possible. As Nardo then said, Futon, Rasen Shuriken, Lava Style, Rasen Rasengan. He smashed both of them into his brain, but nothing happened. Hodama Rasengan, Nardo Rasengan after Rasengan launched at him, but nothing happened. As the king and Naruto were exhausted after all out taijutsu battle and absorbing each other's techniques. <sighs> I gotta admit, you are one strong human, but at the end of the day, you are human. Nothing else. Naruto, you have to absorb him. That is the only way. I and you can kill him in the mindscape. But Krama, I am already using your whole power. No, kid. You're using 1%. I'm not giving you my all because your body cannot handle it. Damn it, this is the only way, Krama. You have to send it all. As Krama sent 100% of his powers into Naruto's body as he started to glow even more brighter until he blinded the Otsuzuki King, but Naruto disappeared and punched him straight through his guts. As he, the Otsuzuki King coughed huge amounts of blood. How is this possible? As Naruto extracted his fist and blasted his mouth with a sink gun, as Naruto looked down at the remains. You disgust me, and so does your clan. As Naruto's form was seen flying into the space, walking back towards the planet Earth, as the planet Otsuzuki was destroyed altogether with all the tentacles that resided there. As Naruto landed back, as he was still in his glowing form, but many markings were on him, and his black sage mode was activated alongside his golden renegon. Naruto, what are you? Everything will be revealed in due time as after everyone calmed down and madara had woken and naruto returned back to his original form they were inside his office as naruto revealed who he was my name is naruto uzumaki namikaze i was born on october 10th x and xxx year in the future 100 years after the konoha was formed 100 years later after two Sorry, three great shinobi wars. After Madra betrayed the Shodai Hokage Hashirama Senjiro. In that dimension, you didn't exist, Ayori. And Mito married Hashirama because I didn't exist. And Madra was manipulated by Zetsu. And when I was born, there was a reason I was born. I was born because. I was born to become a Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails, the child of prophecy who will fulfill the deed to save the world, but I have failed. When the time came, I wasn't powerful enough. And even though I won the battle, destroying everything, I lost still. There were nothing left. The world was barren. I was the only one alive aside from the beaches who were combined within me. With the help of Sage of the Sixth Path, I was sent into this timeline so I could prevent the cycle of hatred from happening. But Naruto, what do you mean by the cycle of hatred? Just like you and the Senjus that fought for over centuries, the other villages fought with each other. After the first war, you died, Hashirama. The second, Tobirama passed away. Third, no one died, but my father became a hero and the fourth, Okage. But he died nine months into his regime when the Nine Tails attack happened. And after that, Uchiha clan perished under the name of Itachi Uchiha, who killed his own clan, massacring it to, in order to save his brother. The village became corrupted, and soon many more skirmishes began, hatred began, and the fourth shinobi war happened. And when that happened, we unified for once, but we still lost because of our hatred that we held for each other and refusing to help each other. And that is why I'm here now. If you hate me, I I apologize, but no one are though, said Ayori Uchiha and Mitonam Uzumaki as both of them ran and hugged him, as everyone listened to his tale. 
It was hard to believe, but what you have told us and what we have seen, it is true. So that Suzuki clan, gone. Those were a bunch that needed to be purged from existence. I hope that all of them are dead and laid to rest already. So what will happen now? Now, we hope for a better future. A future in which generations don't have to shed blood and do anything to harm each other. Where they can live and be whatever they want, but in peaceful environment. The Snarta worked hard as many more villages came to life. As Uzushio was endangered once again by Eva, Kuma, and Kiri, but Naruto dealt with them by and making all of them unconscious and defeating them and giving them a warning that he will kill them if they tried it again and strengthening out the whole Uzushio Gakure and executing the traitors who were within them. As after that, Naruto's teaching passed through that how he forgave those who even attacked his relative and loved ones. and they all should give warnings first before doing anything else. And the shinobi system was impacted by Naruto's generosity and him being involved and his strength. And many villagers and leaders were inspired by him and hence alliances were formed between the five villages. And for the skirmishes to be settled, tournaments were held as per Naruto suggested. And soon that became a way for the villagers show who was powerful. And each year, Konoha and some years Kumo, Kiri, Iwa, and even Sunamon, and that earned them a lot of deals and popularity. And that is how the system went on, but the matches were allowed without killing, and that is what Naruto appreciated. Many years passed, and Naruto passed away due to the old age, and Spirit Krama died with him. Or so everyone thought, but in reality, Naruto has moved on. As October 10th, in hospital Konohaga Kurenosato, a baby boy was born from Kushina Uzumaki and Minato Namikaze. Now Kushina was great-great-granddaughter of Naruto. As when the child was born, it reminded her of great, her great-great-grandfather. What shall we name him? Naruto. His name will be Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze, she said as he had the same three whisker marks as her grandfather. As inside of him, was a spark of soul. It was none other than Superior Chroma. I will stay with you, Naruto, in this life and from here on after. Wherever you go, I go. As Naruto will be happily reunited with all of his loved ones again and will miss those who he loved in previous life. But he was happy because he knew he enjoyed his life to the fullest but was happy to give another chance to meet those who he had met before them. And the world? <laughs> it was all at peace, thanks to his ancestor, who was also him. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this story of guys, I hope you like this one, and if you do, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel, as 